St. Peter's Sunday School. Today's lesson that we're going to learn about is the story of the lost sheep and the lost coin. Jesus loved to tell stories about God, and one of them is this, where he talks about being lost and found. Have you ever been lost? Yes, I have. What happened? I was in, I believe, Cole's store. I just wanted to go in the clothes area and just go like play around and run around in there. Okay. And then you, Dad, and Zoe left, but then Zoe came back to get me, asked if I was, everything was okay, and I was okay. And then I was kind of scared and happy after Zoe found me, but then she brought me back to you guys, which was actually happy. Yeah, so you were lost. We were looking for you and you were looking for us. It was kind of scary, wasn't it? Yeah. And afterwards you felt a lot better. Did you learn a lesson from that as well? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so think about a time you might have been lost and how you felt. This story will portray um, a story that Jesus is telling about being lost and found. And we will read it together with Lexi. This story today will be the lost sheep and the lost coin. This story will be on page 374. The Lost Sheep and the Lost Coin. Telling stories was Jesus' favorite way to teach people about God. One, once there was a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. Jesus said he loved them all, the big ones and the little ones, the good ones and the naughty ones. They were his sheep and he loved them. Every day this shepherd counted his sheep to make sure they were all safe. One day he counted only 99 sheep. Oh no. One was missing. Right away, the shepherd left the 99 sheep together and went to look for the one that was missing. The shepherd listened for the lost sheep to ba. He looked in all the places that sh sheep might get stuck or in trouble. It took a while, but the shepherd kept looking until he found the missing one. Then he called to all his friends and neighbors, Come on, come on over, he cried. I found my sheep. Let's have a party. Jesus loved telling people stories like this one about being lost and then found. I have, all, I have another story, Jesus said. Once there was a woman who had saved up ten little silver coins. One day, when she was counting them, she discovered that she had lost one. What do you think she did? Did she think to herself, oh well, I've still got nine, so who cares if I lost one? No, she did not. She lit her lamp and swept the house from top to bottom. She looked under and around and around everything in her house until she found the lost coin. Oh, she was so happy. She had a party to celebrate. God is like the shepherd and his and this woman. You know, Jesus said, God would never stop looking for anyone who was lost. Ready to play a game, have a snack, and do a little craft? To go with this lesson, you will need a strip of white paper, 10 marshmallows for each person playing the game, a straw, and an orange colored, or sorry, a brown marker or colored pencil, and some tape. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut your white paper into a strip, and then take your brown marker or colored pencil and start making a fence. You could draw on both sides to make your fence, or one side. Once you've drawn your fence on your paper, we're going to fold it like Lexi did. Zoe can start folding hers. You're going to fold it into three or four little sections or to make your little fence. Paper. And then Lexi's going to take a piece of tape 
and we found that this worked out really well. You're gonna tape it down to your table. Just with one piece of tape is fine. Yeah, so tape it down kind of right in front of you. You can tape it farther away from you if you want it to be challenging. Lexi, can you hand Zoe the tape so that... Yeah. Let's bring it a little closer to you so we can all see. Lexi, can you tape it a little closer to you so we can see it in the video? Right here. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so tape your fence down in front of you. And then the next thing you'll need is 10 mini marshmallows. So arrange your mini marshmallows kind of all scattered in front of you. These are your sheep. Now all the sheep are lost. So you're going to need to collect the sheep and get them back into the fenced area with your straw. So this is kind of a little fun game. So you're gonna start blowing your sheep into the fenced area. Three, two, one. And we taped down the fence because it's kind of hard to corral your sheep if your fence is moving too. <laughs> Sometimes sheep don't want to listen and go where you want, do they? Mm -hmm. Kind of like people, right? Sometimes we all need corralling back in. Wow. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this fun game, and the marshmallows can be your snack now if you'd like. <laughs> Are we kind of like sheep to God? Yes. In the Bible... God and Jesus refer to us as sheep all the time, right? Yeah. So if one of us was lost, would Jesus just let us go roaming around, or would he be looking for us? He'd be looking for us. Yeah. Thanks for joining us this Sunday. We hope to see you tonight on our Valentine party that we're going to have together. Let's end this morning with a prayer. Jesus, we are your sheep. Thank you for finding us. When we are lost. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Be the light. Yes, be God's light.